we were discussing about how the compute feeds are working and what are the things we have to uh, keep in mind when we're dealing with the compute feed in the last video in this video in this session how we can give a default val a value by default to a feed for example when we create a sale order or something like that we can put the date by default right and we can uh, assign the same person the person who the user he is uh, who is creating this sale order as the created user so that kind of things how we can set some default values into some fields that's what we are discussing in this video so if you didn't watch the previous videos you can check the playlist uh, check our channel and find out uh, all the previous videos and you can uh, get the things updated so let's uh, get into the subject so this uh, default default can be given default value can be given to any fields and uh, we we do that at the time of the field definition so uh, if we take an example yes okay we can go to the crm and models yeah let's take crm lead so in the crm lead you can see the user id okay the user id is given as this default so here says uh system is taking the login to user from the environment variable so uh this user id will get the login to user the user who is uh creating this lead so uh he will be a self person that's why the string is sales person and just like that some other things like a default the company id you see the company id also taken from the environment variable and uh, you can take see that type so by default it's a lead so these kind of default values how we can do that so here you can see it's given in the field definition itself so here if we take in a common term default is equal to x or something like that so this x can be any uh, any literal value like a boolean or integer float string okay anything or it can be a string okay sorry uh, it can be a function and uh, that returns a value so uh, let's have a look if you have any examples here for that default is equal to yeah. you can see that default is equal to zero here yeah we don't have an example in this for in this file so it can be any fun uh, it can be a function also that can return a value so uh, what we are going to do is we are going to add two fields two fields with a default value in our open academy okay so before going to that uh, we can uh, have a look at this thing so these are the uh, kind of common thing that you can use to supply default values so this self dot n this is an environment variable that have many data so from that you can get uh, cursor database cursor object 
and uh, just like this the user current user record and uh, uh, if you use the uid underscore uid parameter then uh, you will get the uh, uh, database id of that user and uh, um, you can get the context and the company id as you can see there and a lot of lot of uh, information are there in this n variable so you can use the n variable you can uh, use the n variable to get these kind of a uh, lot of information so you can pass that to uh, as a default data into your feeds so uh, let's go back to our open academy module yeah okay so in our open academy module in our session object in our session object we are going to put a default attribute default parameter uh, for our start date so uh, by default system will take the uh, date at which we are creating this session on which we are creating this session as a default date so for that what we are going to do is we are providing this default parameter We can give this like this so this fields dot date dot today is returning a uh, the current date so whenever we you know, whenever we try to create a uh, session this start date field will be filled with the current date so that's why that will that's what happens when we give the default like this then uh, one more thing that we are going to add is the active field active field for our session so this is a boolean field so we can set that by default as true so what we can do is we can give okay so we added two we added two uh, we modified one existing field with the default uh, attribute and uh, we added a new field with the default attribute it's called active okay now uh, we can we can add that in our view Open Academy. Uh, it's a cool now this is our session. So in session, we can so this there is only one field that we have to add because the start daisy is already there in our form view. So we can just add the active. So we added that in our field uh, form view. Now let's go to our so uh, the upgrading is completed. Then let's go to our Open Academy. In the Open Academy, we made the changes in the session object. So Let's go to the session object so in the relational fields the session one yeah okay so the active field is already there so let's try creating a new one you see the date is automatically came here and the active is by default true so this is what happens when you give default the value that you are supplying to that field will be uh, filled by default in the fields 
so i hope you get the points uh, how how we can set default value for a field and uh, if you have any doubts you can put uh, your doubts into the comment section and uh, you can subscribe to our channel to get notified about the uh, new videos thanks for watching have a nice day